Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This week I'm glad you're back for a brand new recipe. This week we're going to make a delicious dessert. We're going to make gelatina de moisaco. It's basically water gelatin with milk gelatin. It is very creamy, very tasty. You can also serve this at a party or a get together. Usually us Mexicans, we have like a traditional cake for a birthday party and then we have like a gelatin on the side. So we serve cake and gelatin. Not everybody does this, but most Hispanics do this. So let's get started with the ingredients. It is super easy to make and very cheap as well. We're going to start off with two boxes of gelatin. You can use any type of gelatin that you want and any flavor that you want. I'm using strawberry and lime. One box, four envelopes of the one ounce unflavored gelatin gelatin, one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, one can of media crema table cream, one bar of cream cheese, it's eight ounces, and a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to start off by making my flavored gelatin first. On two containers, I'm going to be adding two cups of hot water. Now, depending on the gelatin that you're going to be using, just follow the instructions that it has it for that specific gelatin. Depending on how big your gelatin box is, it's going to depend on how much water you're going to use. So go through your gelatin instructions and follow that. Mine said two cups of hot water. Then we're going to add the flavor in. Make sure you mix very well or everything's gonna get stuck on the bottom. For my gelatin, it said four cups of water total. I'm only going to be using three cups of water total because I have found with this brand of jello that I'm using, if I add more water, it's going to be too watery. It's not gonna be a hard consistency. And whenever I'm trying to cut it into little squares to put inside my other gelatin, it's not gonna work very well. So I'm going to be using one cup of less water than what it says on my instructions for the box of jello. After you have mixed very well, I'm going to add one cup of cold water. And again, we're gonna mix very well. If you want your gelatin to be perfectly squares, you can mix the gelatin in a separate container. And on the container that you're gonna mold it, you can add a little bit of the baking spray so it'll be easier to remove from the container later on. Don't add a lot or else the bottom of it or the sides of it, they're gonna be very slimy. Just add a little bit, barely anything on there. I'm not gonna add any. I'm just gonna cover this and put it in the refrigerator anywhere between three to four hours. It just depends on how what gelatin you're using and how cold your refrigerator is. Now that we have our gelatin hardened, we're gonna start with the milk gelatin. I'm going to be using one and a half cups of warm water. I'm going to add my four packets of gelatin in there. Mix very well. If you're not using warm water or hot water, there's a chance that your gelatin might harden and kind of be like a play-doh kind of thing if that happens to you just put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so it becomes liquid you're kind of melting everything down it's not a big deal if you use cold water you just eventually gonna have to put it in the microwave to dissolve it i just like to use hot water first and then add my gelatin in there after we have that mixture ready on my blender i'm going to add my evaporated milk media crema and our condensed milk I'm also going to be adding the two tablespoons of vanilla and the cream cheese. I'm also going to be adding our gelatin mixture, the clear one that we just made. Blend all this together. And now that we have it ready and our flavored gelatins is already mixed. And I'm going to be using this mold right here. You can use any type of mold that you want. And for this step, I am going to be adding baking spray. To the bottom of my mold just to make sure that it doesn't stick the next thing that i'm going to do is go all over my edges to separate the walls of the gelatin from the container after that i'm going to be making little squares vertically and horizontally it's up to you on how big you want your squares i like a little bit bigger squares but you can cut them whatever size you want now that i have that set i'm on my mold I'm going to be adding a little bit of the cooking spray. I'm gonna get a napkin, add a little bit of cooking spray to my napkin, and then I'm going to be wiping down my mold inside just to ensure that there is not a lot of cooking spray and then spreading it evenly all throughout as well. We're going to start off by adding a little bit of the white milk first, and then on whatever pattern you want, you're gonna add your two flavor gelatins on there. Also, you do not have to use two flavor gelatins. I'm using two because I like to alternate the colors. It kind of like a Christmassy color on here, green and red with white. But honestly, I only used about one container of gelatin. I don't mind having leftover flavor gelatin because I am gonna eat it separately. 
if you do not want to waste anything and you don't like flavored gelatin by itself you can only use one packet and use one color and we're going to repeat this step by adding white and we're going to start off that pattern again white gelatin and then our flavored gelatin white gelatin and then our flavored gelatin until all of it it's gone now for the very end we just want to make sure that we cover all those color spots if you don't have enough milk don't worry it's not necessary besides this is going to be the bottom side so nobody's gonna see that i'm going to be adding saran wrap on the top just to cover my gelatin and it won't get any of the fridge smells on there i'm going to be leaving it on there for about three to four hours just to make sure that gelatin hardens it I just want to show you how much flavor gelatin I ended up using. As you can see, I only used a little bit on there. I didn't use very much of mine. After about three hours, I'm checking on my gelatin and it's ready. It's very bouncy. It's not liquidy anymore. And I'm going to be pulling down the sides just so it can be easier for us to flip it whenever we're going to transfer it to our container. Make sure you get all the walls out. Get your plate, put it on the top, flip it around, tap the top part on it, shake it. And then as you can see, I was having a little bit of a hard time removing it. But all I did is I just took it out. I wasn't able to show it on camera. But basically what you do is you just shake it a little bit until you see it moving. Put it back on the plate, flip it around, give it a little tap, and now it's easy for you to remove it. So don't get scared if it doesn't want to remove at the first time. Just make sure you shake it a little bit. Make sure the walls are completely off from the gelatin. That way it's not stuck together. And this is the end result right here. Very simple gelatin to make. Very easy. The only thing is that you just have to wait hours for the gelatin to actually do its job. But other than that, it's very easy to make. Recipe without the cream cheese. But I do notice that the cream cheese gives it a, like a little creamier texture on there. So if you don't have cream cheese, don't worry, you don't have to add it. But the cream cheese is going to give it a little bit of the creamier side on there. Most people don't use cream cheese. And this is the end result for our recipe. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, you can bring it to any birthday party that you want or any get together. That you don't know what to bring to that party. They didn't give you like a specific option on what to bring. It's a very cheap dessert to make. Very tasty as well. Your guests are going to love it. And you're going to love that it's very easy to make as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends if you loved it. Subscribe to our channel so you can be part of our family. Click your notification bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a video. Remember, we upload videos every week. And we'll see you guys next week with a brand new recipe. I hope you guys have a great week. And we'll see you next week with a brand new recipe. Bye!